Hello, welcome to DIY Tech Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to control an LED light using an Arduino Uno microcontroller. This is a fairly simple design that can be easily modified to fit your needs in building more complex Arduino projects. The hardware and code used in this project can be used to take input from any digital sensor, such as switches, read sensors, motion sensors, etc. This video will provide you with the tools you need to add one additional stepping stone to your skill set for creating more elaborate projects using the Arduino Uno. Here are the parts that we're going to need for this project. First, we're going to need a button, an LED, a 330 ohm resistor, and a 10K resistor. We'll also need about five jumper cables. Uh, we'll need our Arduino Uno and a breadboard to assemble all the parts onto. The first step in assembly of the hardware is to add the button to the breadboard. Depending on your button, you may need to install it slightly differently than I show here. The key is to have the switched pins line up in a separate row on the breadboard. You can test your button using a continuity tester if you are unsure. Let's press our button into the breadboard across the center gap where the connection on one side of the gap are not connected until the button is pressed. The second component we will install is the LED. It is important to note that the LED has two legs where one is longer than the other. The longer leg represents the positive side of the LED and this is important. So take note as to how you install this into the breadboard, since once it's pressed in, the length won't be apparent. Press the LED legs in away from the button and keep both legs of the LED in separate rows on the breadboard. We will add a 330 ohm resistor connecting the negative side of the LED to ground. This will lower the voltage applied to the LED to prevent it from burning out. Our breadboard isn't powered yet, so we'll need to connect our red jumper wire from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the red side of the power rail on the breadboard. We'll connect the black wire from the ground pin of the Arduino to the black side of the power rail on the breadboard. Since we'll be controlling the LED through the Arduino, we will connect the positive pin of the LED to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. This will allow us to control the LED through the Arduino based on the input provided by the button. You may be asking why we need to go through all this trouble using an Arduino to control an LED. Couldn't we just wire the LED up directly through the button? The answer would be yes, but you wouldn't have the same type of control you would through the Arduino. We'll see this more clearly once we get into the coding section of the video. We're now ready to connect the button to the Arduino. We do this by connecting one side of the button to the positive rail. The other side of the button will connect to the negative rail through a 10K resistor. This brings the voltage supply down from 5 volts to 1 volt. We'll use one of our jumper wires to connect the second button leg to pin 3 on the Arduino. We will read pin 3 from the Arduino to determine if the button has been pressed. If it is in the unpressed state, the Arduino will read pin 3 as low, 1 volt. When the button is pressed and connects the jumper to the positive rail, pin 3 will be brought to high, which is 5 volts. We'll use the Arduino to read these voltages and provide output to the LED based on those voltages. Okay, now that we have all the hardware set up, let's add the code. The first thing we need to do is to declare the variables. So we're gonna have two variables, uh, LED uh, to represent pin nine and button, which is gonna represent pin three that we're gonna connect the button to. Um, as for the setup, 
We just need to set the pin modes for these two pins. And we're going to set the LED as an output for obvious reasons, and the button is going to be our input. Now, what are we going to do with this input? And that's what we're going to put in the void, the void loop. And now this is going to happen over and over again. So it'll detect whether or not um, the button has been pressed or, de or depressed uh, because it'll run over and over again continuously. So what we're going to do here, and I'll explain, is we're going to read button one. And if it's high, which means that the button is pressed, we're going to go ahead and execute these two lines of codes. We're going to write the LED high, which is going to turn on the light, and then we're going to delay for two seconds. Otherwise, we're going to digital write the LED to low, which will turn that LED off. And let me go back to this line right here, because this is important. We could, you know, if we were to use the Arduino just to turn the LED light on or off, it seems a little bit overkill because we could just wire that LED in line with uh, with the button, and as you press the button, it makes connection to ground or, or to power. Um, so there's really no need for a microcontroller. By adding this delay, um, it allows us to do something that's unique to a microcontroller that you couldn't do through an inline button. So what it'll do is when you press that button, even if you click it for just a, a fraction of a second, it'll stay lit for uh, two full seconds before turning off. Once we upload the sketch, I'll go ahead and we'll change that value so you can kind of see uh, what that'll do. Uh, to the lights and the way the buttons behave. So let's go ahead and compile this, make sure that it works. And it looks like everything's good. So we are ready to load this onto our Arduino and try it out. Now let's go ahead and upload our sketch to our Arduino. Just uh, if I get this in right, I can in. And we will go ahead and upload the sketch. It's compiling and uploading. All right, upload successful. Okay, so here's our finished product. You know, we press our button, the light comes on for two seconds and then turns off. Now we could very easily change the delay to something more like five seconds and I'll go ahead and do that now just so you can kind of see the difference. Okay, sketch is done uploading. So now if we press it, that light will stay lit for a little bit longer. So it's gonna stay lit for five seconds uh, rather than just one. And this is something you can't do with an inline switch. Um, you do need a microcontroller to kind of determine how long that that power is gonna be um, applied to that pin that that LED is connected to. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're able to take this sketch and build something even more elaborate with it. Um, it is one of the, the, the basic stepping stones I found um, for using an Arduino is, you know, that digital out, which is an LED, which could also be a relay or something else more, uh, more advanced, uh, where you're switching a large power supply, and the button, which could be replaced with a number of different digital sensors. So uh, you'll definitely use this code and this type of technique for hooking it up on, on some of your other projects as you uh, progress uh, with the Arduino. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing or clicking the bell icon to be notified of future videos.